Welcome back, everyone. So as many as six and a half million people in the U.S., or one in 50 people, have unruptured brain aneurysms, and they don't even know it. And people with aneurysms often have no symptoms until it burst, which can be life-threatening. Researchers are now looking at a, a new technique that could find aneurysms with a higher potential for rupture. This is what doctors see when diagnosing a brain aneurysm, a balloon or bulge in vessels. But which ones need treatment and which will be harmless? Yale neurovascular surgeon Charles Matuk and colleagues are testing a new imaging technique that allows them to examine the vessel wall. First, a patient gets an MRI scan. Then he receives an IV injection in his hand of a special dye. Then the patient is scanned again. So that dye that you're injecting in an, in an IV in your hand will get picked up in the wall of this very tiny uh, two or three millimeter aneurysm. Dr. Matuk says an aneurysm that is bled will light up on the scan, almost like it has a halo around it, because most small aneurysms don't bleed. If an aneurysm does not light up, immediate treatment might not be necessary. The implication is that if we don't see enhancement and the aneurysm is small, and most small aneurysms don't bleed, then maybe those are aneurysms that can be safely watched. Eliminating the need for immediate brain surgery. Now the Yale team says the MRI imaging they are using has a three Tesla magnet, which is a stronger magnet, but it's still a system that is available at most hospitals across the U.S. So the technique can be made widely available. Bruce?